All right, we're back on the painful grind that is Vanguard Zombies, and today we're we'll beginning the Sten Gold Viper. Now, all we really have to do today is get 400 more or 300 more Pack a Punch kills with the Sten here, and we need to get 10 rapid kills. 20 more time and i know this is a challenge that some people are struggling with uh those five people that are still playing vanguard zombies so i wanted to go ahead and highlight this for today's video uh, i know the game's very rng based based on whatever covenants you get and whatever events you get so i'm gonna try to show you things to look out for and how you can get these challenges done easier also here is the build i'm using i have the f8 stabilizer the strafe angled under barrel the hawkinson barrel we have the 50 round drum magazine slate reflector grooved grip and the folding stock and we're using frost blast because i'm pretty sure this is the only field upgrade that works in this game so let's go ahead hop in and get this thing over with all right here we are on dare who gives a shit and these 10 rapid kills are extremely difficult to get actually the window is very very small on when you can get these 10 kills plus with like low magazine counts and stuff like if you get caught reloading it's gonna make it a lot tougher so i'm gonna try to get to at least like round six i think is when you start getting enough zombies to be able to get this done like more effectively so to do that i'm gonna hit up blitz for the first few rounds here because blitz is only gonna be one minute long here on round one so it's gonna be a very fast wave to get through we can instantly just get a covenant and then start working our way up till we get to a round that has plenty zombies this i wish we would get this for a harvest round we can go back to our spot of just chilling right here but not today i'm literally just gonna run around until there's like 10 seconds left and then hopefully by then at least 10 zombies will be spawned and running behind me and i'll be able to wipe them out but if 10 zombies are up here and chasing before then i'll take them out and then repeat because on certain events like harvest i'm pretty sure it only spawns like six or seven zombies per round which is awful or just like at a time like it's capped at seven so Doing events like Blitz definitely help out a lot more. It's not looking like we're going to be able to get it done. Yeah, I think that's only five right there. Yeah, Slaughter. Slaughter medals, <laughs> I I mean, it's like, cool. You get five kills. Like, great. But it's literally just telling you that you weren't fast enough to get the 10 for a Carnage medal. All right, this is going to open up. We're going to go grab Jug. Quick little first perk there. And then what other events do we have? Oh, first, let's check our Covenants before I forget. Let's get uh, Bloodlust because melee is kind of insane at these early rounds, especially if I'm getting health back for doing it. We have another Blitz. We have two Blitzes. I'll just do this one because it's closer. Let's grab our free speed cola but basically you're just gonna be doing a whole lot of running around until you get to a, a higher round until you get enough zombies that are actually getting this challenge done as possible this is the most annoying part about vanguard zombies actually not the most annoying just another annoyance that i have is that these 10 rapid kills you can't get till a certain round and then once you get to that certain round you can crash you have to go to the bathroom you'll probably die or get kicked for inactivity being kicked for inactivity in zombies is ridiculous if you can stay still and survive i think you should you should be fine but them not having a pause feature really makes it so like you have to sit down and get what you got to do done and have nothing else to do that like like zombies is your only priority so i think they're adding the pause feature in season one but it's really stupid that's even something that they need to add i mean i'm glad they're adding it but i'm still disappointed that that's on the zombies roadmap instead of like oh this new content new weapon or something it's pause feature so I, I don't know i'm trying to stay hopeful for this mode because i think it, it could be great with more stuff in it like it it's visually amazing like even just sitting right here in this spot like it's th this this mode has like the most eye candy of any zombies game i've seen i think i mean that might be pushing it but just I'm just obsessed with these perk founds. But at the same time, it has the least amount of content we've ever seen. Give us something more to do. So because of all that, I've been playing uh, some more Cold War. I think we're going to do that more frequently. I'm doing that every other day if I can help it. But really quick, let's grab a Covenant. I'm going to get Unholy Ground. We cannot pack a punch yet. And I don't think there's going to be enough zombies here in the hub for us to kill to be able to pack a punch. So I'm going to go right into... We have a Transmit and a Harvest. I think Transmit will probably be faster. Let's do that. But going back and playing Cold War like a lot more now, it, it just feels so buttery smooth. Like it's everything about the game is just fun. And I still can't believe it even got hate. We we definitely did not know what we had with that game. But I'm just going to try to speed through this transport mission. Because if I just walk past all these zombies, eventually there will be 10. And I can take them out. Let's get this diabolical damage. Basically just dead shot with a new name. But once we get up here, I can kind of just post up and wait. Yeah, there's plenty of zombies. Let's do this. Take them out. This should be at least some progression towards this camo. There we go. That was five kills rapidly, not 10 though. But we have plenty of zombies coming in. I want to throw a decoy down actually. You guys can go play with that. Okay, I'm mailing my way up. Okay, that's five. We get to 10. 
not looking like it actually what the hell damn oh insta kill perfect is there only three zombies left really only three nothing else that's not even worth waiting for more to spawn let's just go i shouldn't have tried to kill them all on the stairs because there's like so many different levels they could have been on but it's whatever we'll get this challenge done regardless all right let's check our covenants from that one uh we have ammo gremlin that's actually purple not gonna help us until it's gold but i don't know i'll just grab it but now we're on round four we got boom streaker spawning here at the hub now i'm gonna try to run around group all these zombies together oh wait quick revive let's grab that and then let's see if we can get 10 to go stick together in a group and then we can get at least one one metal towards this it's all about getting it where you can this is not the most efficient way but i'm just trying to get one on my way to getting to a higher round because if you're just sitting here doing this at round four it's going to take a long time especially with how slow these zombies move ridiculous but let's try it right here that's five out of ammo and we're not getting it. Yeah, it's not even worth doing if I'm not pack a punch. So I'm going to pack a punch real quick after I get these zombies out of the way. Snag it. Run. Ooh, we got it without getting blown up on by the boom shriekers or the boom shearers, wherever they're called. They yell. That's basically a shriek. That's what I'm going to be calling them. All right, we got a decent group now. Let's go for it. Is that 10? Please tell me that's 10. Let's go. Carnage. All right, we got one metal. So now we just need to do that, what, 19 more times? I, I promise it gets faster. If we get the right event, we can actually get it so quickly, but I'm going to do another blitz just to get through it. All right, we just got to survive in here for two and a half minutes. We actually, I was about to run through this door, but we cannot. So now that this is a more open area, we can kind of just run around in a circle, just run around this tree and pile of bodies and just wait for enough zombies to spawn. I think, I think even if there is a zombie like cap where it only spawns like X amount at a time, I think they'll spawn back fast enough for us to be able to get a carnage metal. But I think what we have to do is break the seal on these zombies. Like once we start killing a few more will spawn. So now that we have them grouped up here, I'm going to go for the kills. The zombies are now jumping over the wall. Is that 10? I don't think it was. Oh, it was. Let's go. A carnage. I hear a boom shrieker too. Boom shriekers. If you kill a boom shrieker in a horde of zombies, I think all those zombies dying counts towards this metal as well. So don't be afraid if like a boom shrieker blows up your horde because I'm, I'm pretty sure it does count. Why well, we only got five zombies on the field right now? Come on. Where's the rest? I think in these blitz events, once you get like closer down to when the time's about to run out, more and more zombies spawn to try to put the pressure on. Now I'm just going to train up. It's going to be a whole lot of the same stuff. Just run around, get them trained up, then kill. Don't just like mindlessly start killing them. You got to count your zombies, basically. There's a decent amount. I always try to kill them close to where I know zombies spawn from. That way, if I just need a few extra kills that they're right there, ready to be killed. It's also nice to do it in an area like this gate here or near these doors. Because they spawn very open and in front of you. That way you don't have to wait for them to climb over the wall. Which does help you with uh, the timing of getting the 10 kills. But we only have 13 seconds left here. So I'm just going to try my best to get one more before this thing ends. Yeah, I don't think I can. They're spawning too slow. Th this is like the, the major problem with this challenge. Because you can get everything else done. Just wandering around doing whatever. But you will not get the rapid kills. At least not until you're at a high round. Alright, check the covenants. Mother load, cryo freeze, brain rot. Don't need any of those. Can't pack a punch either. But at least one time before I start the event, every time I get back to the hub, I try to just wander around each area. Get all the zombies aggroed on me. I have them follow me around. And then once I feel like I have 10, I'll go for the metal. I think right here is pretty close. But sometimes they just stop running. So make sure that you're not like dusting them. And I don't know if metals over carnage count. Like if you get a 20 kill rapidly. I don't know if that counts as two or if it's still just one. But I think we just got one right there. Yep, there's carnage metal. And that boom shrieker almost killed me. Try to get these guys out here. And we might have enough for another one. Try to get them all together. Go on, zombies. All right. I think that's enough. Boom shrieker, go. I don't think that was enough, unfortunately. Yeah, even, even my operator said too slow. All right, that's enough of that. I'm just going to hop into the blitz. All right, now these blitz rounds are three minutes long. Triple the time it took at round one. While we're here, I'm going to grab free stamina up and just run around. Actually, I think my, my break the seal theory might be true. Like once I start killing zombies, more will start spawning in faster. So I'll take out a few there and then we can just run around, wait for them to spawn in. We got four right here. We got three more coming in. Another one spawning. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is what we want. I can't tell if training is easy or difficult in this game because I'm literally just running in a circle and they're all just stacking up but now that they're all good and stacked up easy carnage metal coming up show me it that should be it yep 
easy. And we just do the same thing. It's basically to get this challenge done is you just run in a circle a lot and hope that one of the zombies doesn't get messed up off their path and just take you out. Like that right there. You gotta be on, you gotta be quick on your toes. Oh wait, an MGK wants to come in here and knock over every single zombie we have. Dickhead, let's frost blast. Oh, I wanted to slow him down, not kill him. Okay, MGK is dead. Oh my God, there's another one. Can you fuck off please? Okay, there's plenty of zombies here now. Let's do this. This should be 10. There's slaughter, there's dead eye, and then carnage should be next. I'm not gonna hit that nuke, don't need it. Got a nice group coming in here, almost enough. We should be able to get a few here in just this one blitz round, which is pretty good. Boom streaker go. Zombies stay the fuck back. And I'm down. Sick. I love how you can shoot while self-reviving. We got four seconds. We got to go for it. Come on. Come on. Give me a medal. Oh, I feel you, Vaughn. We kind of just made the same noise. All right, let's check out our covenants. Uh, dead accurate bloodlust call of the week. Don't need any of those, but we will get pack two because that will help. Now let's go ahead. Harass all these zombies. Try to get them to follow us. Open that up. Is there a decoy in there? There's a lot of decoys and monkey bombs you get from these chests, so I always like to check them. As long as these MGKs are too slow to keep up with us, run over here, get all these other zombies aggroed on me. Jeez, I'm surrounded by MGKs. They're actually doing insane damage right now. Can I buy armor? Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a decoy down. Get around this corner so the MGKs don't get to us. Try to get all the zombies right up there, but they're knocking literally all of them down. Got a nice slaughter metal though. I'm gonna grab the full armor. There's more than enough zombies here. It's just these MGKs that are messing us up. I'm gonna try to take these guys out as soon as I can. There's one. These MGKs are like megatons. All they do is just knock zombies over and be a nuisance, but these guys actually do so much more damage and they tank a lot more too. There we go. All right, now we got a decent bunch there. I'm gonna throw down a decoy just to be safe. Everybody go to the decoy, please. Let's blow up that boom shrieker. Is that enough? Does the boom shrieker also blow up the decoy? Because that sucks. Jackrabbit, was that 10 though? It was not. I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. There's 10 here though. This should be good. Yep, that's 10 rapid kills 35 times. Just need to do it 15 more. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that again here before we hop into another event. So I'm just going to hop in the transmit. All right, these transmit events are actually pretty good for getting these done. Uh, I just like to move it around a little bit, get into an area where... I have more space to move, like something like this. But I think the more the bar is filled up, the more zombies spawn. We can test that right here. So I'm not trying to move it at all. It'll just move if I get near it a little bit. Also, if you get out of its range and run back into it, you can get 10 points every time. Easy point farm. You're literally just sitting here training anyways. Yeah, four zombies have spawned. Let's kill these guys and see if more spawn. That seems to be how things are working. Are you serious? We're round six and we're capped to four zombies per round. Also, why do I have 70 latency on a solo game? That's ridiculous. I shouldn't be lagging in a game that I'm playing by myself. Let's move this around a little bit. See if more zombies start to spawn. Okay, now we got five. We're moving up. Now we're getting a little more. Let's get this thing back outside. All right, now there's enough. So let's train these guys up. Make sure that they're all over here. All right, and now let's get this 10 rapid kills. The slaughter. Show me carnage. Dead eye. Now we got carnage. Let's go. Nuke, do, do not want that. All right, let's try to ignore these zombies. Push our way through, and we're not going to let this thing cross the finish line. We're going to let it get close, but we're not going to let it cross it. Just get it back into the open here. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try this. I think this should be enough, hopefully. Knock on wood. Dead eye. Carnage, let's go. I mean, just keep doing that. I'm pretty sure a good amount of zombies will spawn and just keep looping around here and getting this done. But basically, what you want to do is just whenever you're playing any of these events, train up as much as you can. I know this isn't really like a high octane zombies mode. It can get difficult at the high rounds, but I think about round six is uh, the sweet spot for getting enough zombies to get carnage medals. It's just a whole lot of playing events the way they weren't meant to be played just sitting here grinding zombies and i'm pretty sure after a while it'll just kick you out and bring you back to the hub anyways like you completed it so you won't be able to sit here and do this forever at least not on the transport events or the transmit maybe on harvest but they might have patched that and if they did patch that i don't know why i don't know why their priority is making it harder to grind camos but i don't know i don't work there i just play the game but again to summarize when you're at the hub just try to get as many kills as you can try to get them all aggroed towards you i wouldn't really do it like round four or below anything past that you can go ahead and try and then whenever you get into an event try to train up as much as you can in the blitz events and in the transmit events i'm pretty sure those are the best for at least having 10 zombies on the map at the same time uh harvest events can be good for it if you get good spawns where you can just sit there and get them as they're spawning other times it's usually not worth it because you only get like seven or six zombies spawning at a time and it just makes it 
too difficult. But this thing's almost at the finish line. I'm going to wait and see if we can get one more medal out of this. Because now I think all the spawns are disjointed. The zombies are too slow and this isn't very effective. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombies. Only eight zombies have spawned here. And the second you kill one, another one will start spawning. So you get these eight kills. Hopefully you can get another one, but it's not looking like it. Let's just bring this boy home. Go get him out at the hub. All right, checking the covenants. Nothing we... Oh, wait. I was gonna say nothing we can use, but there's upgraded bloodlust. Let's go. Now it heals me. I don't think it was doing it before. All right, let's go piss off all these zombies. Y'all got a decoy for me. Nope, we got a monkey bomb. I'll take that. Almost died for it too. What's up, gentlemen? Get meleeed. Let's get all these guys upstairs. Aggroed. Let's jump down. Okay, we got this whole building pissed off. Hopefully they follow us out. Sometimes when I go in the building, they just kind of stand up there. Oh no, it looks like they're coming. All right, this is plenty. Let's take them out before the MGK does. It knocks them all over. That's already five rapidly. That's carnage, okay. We're gonna give it a second to breathe. Make sure the carnage metal goes away. We'll grab these bonus points. We're gonna take out MGK here. So we can't Metal with our plans. He almost just killed me and ended the whole run. Get out of here, MGK. Jeez, dickhead. All right, let's get these guys away from this debris. Or by debris, I mean piles of bodies. That way, if some are like hiding behind it, it doesn't stop me from getting the carnage metal. But let's go right now. This should be one, especially since I just saw that zombie spawn in. Show me it. There we go. Okay, we just need to do that 10 more times. Yep, there's our camo for it. And now we have a harvest event. Where is this at exactly? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go upgrade my quick revive a little bit so we can get health regen a little faster. I think I'll do it once, maybe twice. And then I'm gonna spend the rest on jug. And then we're gonna hop on this harvest event and I'm gonna show you the absolute best way to get all of these 10 kills rapidly. I think we might have 10 right here though. So let's go ahead and get a carnage medal before we hop in. If these zombies would be so kind to uh, group up for me. All right, here we go. All you need to go to bed. It's past your bedtime. Oh, there's our 4,000 pack lunch eliminations. We got that one done. Abolition camo and another cartridge metal. All right, let's start up the, the harvest event. Now, this harvest event is the one that takes place right here in this building. And this is the absolute perfect one that you want to do this. So your first sending is going to spawn right up here. Fill this up as fast as possible. And then the second one's going to spawn down here. You're going to want to fill that one up as well. The, you just mainly want to get this to its third position, which is right here. So I'm going to give it a second. So all the zombies pile up. Maybe we can get a carnage metal while we're getting our, our uh, what the, what's it called? Ruins? Rune stone. So we'll, we'll let these guys stack up so we can get these rune stones. We'll probably drop about like one or two or none, which is cool. Oh wait, there's one. The train up again. We get as many carnage metals as I can. We also need these runes, so go ahead and die and give me some. There we go. We got them all now. Let's move this bad boy. Pile them in. There we go. I'm just gonna find five more. Should be pretty easy. Even when there's an MGK trying to hack at me. Come on. Oh, gotta reload. Get out of here. Scram. All right, let's move this one. Bring it to its final location. Please don't kill me. Thank you. And this is the absolute best spot you want to be. I literally just stand right here on the door. You can see both spawns here. There's a spawn right over here. On the right, there's a spawn behind you, but there's also a spawn here on the left. So mainly, the zombies are going to be coming in from this front door. I usually like to give it a few seconds, wait until the elites are all gone. You're not going to get constant uh, MGKs coming in. You're going to probably get like one or two, depending on the round. Here at round seven, I think we're just going to get one. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. What's up, pal? And he's gone. All right. And I think now we should be good to get this done. You can kind of just sit right here and shoot. We already have one Carnage Metal. And I think they should spawn in fast enough to where you're getting these kills easy. And if you ever got to reload, all you got to do is sit back. Uh, maybe even just train around, run in a circle while you're reloading. Let the zombies spawn on in and you should be on your way to another Carnage Metal. Or if you have the ability that I have, you can just sit there and melee them if you run out of ammo. Now they're all stacked up again. You can get these easy kills. Aiming for the head helps conserve ammo, making these 10 kills rapidly a lot easier and faster. But if you start to see the metal slow down, I think the spawns do fluctuate once you stay in one area for too long. They start like coming out of sync. So just train around a little bit. Easy kills. There's another one. We just need to do it five more times. We should be able to get it done right here. There's five kills rapidly. All right, let's loop around a little bit. Please don't kill me. We got a frost blast. Okay, that's five rapidly. Maybe if I get five more here, I'll, it'll still be fine. But it's not looking like it. Way too much time in between. There we go. This should be 10 rapidly. We do everything right here. Maybe not. The timing on these is so strict. It gives you zero leeway. You really have to make sure you got all 10 there when you start shooting. Oh my God, I'm going to go down. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. 
take him out. Is that 10? It should be. If that's not 10. I don't know what 10 is. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a monkey bomb and let them all stack up in one spot. Go for it. Kill this guy because he's being too slow. Take out the rest. Almost killed myself with my own monkey bomb. That's one, I'm pretty sure. Really? Where are all my carnage medals going? Huh, maybe they nerfed the spot a bit. Hear that or I'm just stupid. I might just be stupid. There we go. That's definitely a carnage medal for sure. Yep, need four more. And I just need to stay alive as well, which might be tough. There's another one. We're getting so close here. Okay, I'm gonna loop around up here because down there is very dangerous. And let's go for them. Oh shit, there's so many, there's so many. That should be good. Is that another one? Really? They are so strict on these. Is this gonna be a carnage medal for me? I sure hope so. Maybe I should just melee. Yep, there's carnage. Yeah, I think I should just melee. I forgot I have that covenant. All right, let's melee these guys. So you can get this to 10. I think this might be easier. And then we can shoot the guys out here. Yep, carnage again. Is that it? Nope. I think we got like two more, actually. These gas grenades are really good for slowing the zombies down, too. It's almost like a stun, but it just slows them. Really nice for these kills. It's another carnage metal. Okay, we gotta be like one away. Okay, throw another gas grenade. Let's go in with the melees. Is this it? Jackrabbit. Slaughter. That's gotta be carnage right here. Let's go. Now show me gold viper ranked up. This has got to be it. This is it for sure. Challenge completed. 10 rapid kills 50 times. We all challenges for this weapon. Half tone gold viper, baby. Let's go. Actually golden viper. My bad. Uh, let's go ahead. Deposit these rune stones. And let's go exfil. So it's that easy. This took me 40 minutes to get 30, 10 kills rapidly. That's not bad. I probably could have got it a lot quicker, but I was being kind of dumb. Uh, not really training up my zombies as fast as I could, but it's whatever. We still got a gun gold, baby. I'll take it. Just out of curiosity, what do they got here? Call the weak, mother load, cryo freeze, don't care. Uh, we can't pack punch anything. I'm just gonna start the exfil right away. I don't even care what else is here. We're going for it. All right, let's see what we can buy here. Let's buy decoys and let's try to group them all together again. I'm just gonna decoy, gamma bomb them, and then we're out. I'm gonna grab a little jug too since we're right here. Why not? Okay, go decoy. Go ahead, zombies. Don't be shy. And eat that. Eat this one. There we go. MGK, get the hell out of here. Oh my god, is there another one? Yeah, you want the smoke too? Nothing but headshots for you, pal. Run down another decoy. Just need 22 more kills. This should knock out at least half of them right here. Oh, let's go. A little more than half. Got five more to go. Oh, in the nuke? Oh, nuke doesn't count for it. That's stupid. I gotta wait for him to respawn now. Oh, I guess it wasn't that long. One, two. Where's number three? You get a gamma bomb. Idiot. Now let's get to the portal. Throwing a decoy and hitting the portal. We're out. It's just that easy. Our final stats here. We had 738 kills, 290 critical kills actually, and one down. So it took us that many kills in seven rounds just to get 20 or 30. 30 10 kills rapidly i can't remember well let's go ahead and check out what the sten looks like with these mastery camos here is golden viper this is beautiful the gold viper in this game is actually it's just brilliant it just it's amazing the crimson on it the black laminate i feel like i say the same thing every time i look at it but it never changes i really like the golden viper in this game it's on a complete 180 where the gold viper is the best skin and then plague diamond in the middle now dark aether's last but let's check out the plague diamond a lot more coverage here on that rose gold i like that a lot this is clean man they, plague diamond is nice in this game it's not too flashy but it still looks good and then dark aether you know uh, I don't know why it's green, but it is. And we got to live with it. So yeah, here's here's uh, a watermelon skin with a watermelon on it. But anyways, let's go in game and see what this thing looks like with gold viper. All right, this is what the Sten looks like in game with golden viper on it. This thing is clean. I put the long mag in here and it's still looking nice. I don't understand why all these uh, World War II era weapons have these weird magazines where all on a side, on the top. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a gun buff. Couldn't tell you. Don't care either way, but this gun does look pretty sick with Golden Viper on it. But there you have it. We have another weapon done here in this very awful zombies mode but there's camos to get we're still gonna get them uh, even if it's just here and there but that's where we're gonna have to end the video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later